Hey, today I thought for my next little snapshot of my life in 2024, I would document some of my favorite things and things that I do every day, every week, every month and habits that I'm bringing into the new year. Because I don't know about Future Devanchi, if you're watching this, um, you, you better be watching this. But I don't know what the world looks like for you now. But right now, we are definitely in a phase of being chronically online and a lot of internet brain rot as a result of that. And also a lot of defining our personality based on consumerism. A lot about like, you are what you buy. And there's just a few things I do for myself to document my life, but also to reduce my time spent on the internet because I know that it's not good for me. And also I know that that poster over there is peeling off, but like, I don't know what to do about that. This is just what it is, okay? I'm sitting in the window. I brought the kitchen stool in here to sit on because it's a, another gray day in Sweden. I actually have my lamp. Oh, that's better. Yeah, I have my lamp plugged in uh, because it's it's only 10 a.m., but it's great. Oh, it's 11.11. It's 11.11, make a wish. Okay, I made a wish. Okay, let's start off with my like most simple, straightforward thing that I do for myself, and that is a journal. I actually have a few forms of journaling, but this one is probably, this is something I've done since I was in fifth grade, off and on. And actually when I was in fifth grade, I had this journal that I took with me to school every single day. And I had a, my best friend, she also like wrote constantly. So we would be writing like in class, between classes, during break, after school, in the carpool pickup area. Like we were always writing, writing, writing. And I have no idea what happened to that notebook. I would give anything anything to read what was in that now and actually when i went home to india last winter i did hunt for it a little bit but i didn't find it in either of my houses so this one was a gift from vidush and this is a lick lick term um journal it's turquoise it's really gorgeous and it's like a thin one and i really like that because because it's so thin it's really easy to like write like this and like fold it over because the spine isn't so big and I just have some stickers on here. This is a picture I took of some flowers. I have my name. I have some little, this one is another sticker that I drew. This cute one that I got at a boba shop in the city. And this journal is just writing. It's a lot of this. It's a lot of, and the lines are really close together, which I also love. And it's kind of hard to find in notebooks here, but I'm so glad he gave me this because this is like my perfect journal. So I just write in this. Um, something I tried to do was that in between I had a phase when I would get really sad and obviously when you are worried about something and you have anxiety and it's like an irrational worry sometimes writing it down helps you kind of realize that it's not that serious I'm not in danger but I also wanted to try documenting the good days more so that when I go back I could remember the good memories and the good days and my journal wouldn't just be full of like negative thoughts and like bad things that happened to me so that is the journal uh, this is just writing. I don't draw in this. I don't put pictures in this. That's just how I like it. This is just writing. And I don't really go back and read my old ones yet because they're a bit too, like not in the distant past enough. Like right now, my oldest one that I have is from 2021, which is not that long ago. So yeah, that's, that's number one. Thing number two that I do for myself is my scrapbook. Uh, this one is a little bit thick, but um, I just have like a bow. I have this like cute sticker from like Pinterest. I have a Brandy Melville sticker. I mean, it's a sketchbook, so it has really thick pages. And I really like that about it. I have like birthday cards, notes, a letter that my friend wrote me. Um, what else? Another letter from her. She was actually in boarding school. And so she had no way of talking to me because they couldn't have their phones. This is India. So they didn't have their phones or laptops. So when her mom would go visit her, she would give her mom a letter and her mom would come back to the city and give me the letter and I would write her letter back and her mom would take it back to her. So, and I mean, now she's like in uni like me. This is like years ago, but yeah, this is some flowers that Vidish sent me. I pressed them and made a collage out of the bouquet. Um, this is like the EKG stickers they put on me when I was hospitalized last year. So a bunch of like physical mementos. This page is about Spain. It has a boarding pass, a coaster from the restaurant, the napkin from another restaurant. I love these pages and I can go into detail more about this, but this is my Paris page. 
uh, and it even has like photo booth pictures from the photo booth so yeah it's got a bunch of like just like mementos and one thing about this is that people are like i don't always remember to keep the scraps and stuff but when you're scrapbooking you just subconsciously are like maybe i can hang on to that so i don't put receipts in here but everything else boarding passes stickers napkins coasters um tickets photo booth pictures like it's really useful to just have a designated place and then you can open the page and be like oh my god this is my paris page there's a leaf from paris there's pictures so yeah it's really fun the next thing is something i don't revisit this thing as much as i want to but it's my sketchbook since i was an art student and i wasn't able to pursue art in university just because of visa reasons and the fact that i need a job to stay in sweden um I kind of suppressed the artist in me and I was like, I have to be a business person now because that's what I'm studying. But I realized that I don't have to be an artist to enjoy art and to create art. And so recently I've been trying and thinking more about getting back into drawing and making stuff. I'm a bit embarrassed to show you this because some of this is really gross. This is from, from 2020 when my mom, my sister and I went to Malma and how my sister was like all ticked off and my my mom was like really excited to keep exploring and i was like on google maps like like this trying to find our way to places so yeah i just doodle from time to time i did some anatomy practice this one is purely for fun i'm not trying to build any skill i'm just letting my creative juices flow I made a valentine's day girl I made an angry girl and sometimes i try to do something a little more like creative like a self-portrait which is something i really don't do that often i drew these two girlies last night because i was just i was just in the mood i was like i want to draw i feel like drawing something oh my god there's a dog in a yellow raincoat outside you thought i was joking you thought okay the next thing is also kind of like the sketchbook what is uh, kind of like the sketchbook it's not something i do that frequently but i bought this monet sketchbook with my bestie when i was in paris and we both like started it in paris when we were still there and it's an impressionism coloring book so it has like these little dots of the colors and then you fill it in so i haven't even finished one page of this but it's just things i love doing like coloring in little blobs and then you see what kind of emerges from that because at the back it has like prints of the actual paintings but when you're doing it you don't know what it's going to be so i like that aspect of it just two more notebooks i promise and then we're gonna get into the online stuff but the next one i have so i actually have like a little family of lick terms now i have this is the dad this is the mom this is the yellow lick term bullet journal and then this is the baby so i have all three of these this is my bullet journal i started this in 2021 i think it's an indication of how much how dedicated i am to it the fact that i haven't even finished a quarter of it because when i started it, i started out strong did a mood tracker never finished it um I have some pictures from 2021, like that's me at my high school graduation, that's Bean, that's my 18th birthday. Isn't it weird that I'm gonna be 21 in two months? Let's not think about that. Um, yeah, I used to do like really aesthetic, this was like the Tumblr vibes spread that I wanted to do. And I really tried, but a lot of these spreads are like not even filled in just because I don't really think bullet journaling in its original form was the most sustainable habit this is since november i've been doing this so i've only been doing it like four months now but i think it really really works for me um this way i have my entire month drawn on one like one page kind of like this and this is like from november from october 29th to november 26th so almost the whole month four weeks and this is so much better because instead of having each week be a whole page and feeling kind of overwhelmed that it looked empty, that I didn't have enough to do, I can see my whole month at a glance. I can see which days I have lectures. I can see which days I can work out, which days I can go to work, uh, when I have submissions, exams, readings, and it just it just works better for me to be able to see everything I stretched. Like you can see that this page is a lot more filled out than the pages I used before. I wrote when I went to Paris, like, it's just good. This just this just works for me. That way of bullet journaling has actually stuck with me the last few months. And I wonder if I'll continue to do it. But I don't really use bullet journaling so much to keep track of tasks. Because I don't have... Frankly, 
my school life right now, I don't have a lot of deadlines and I don't have a lot of things that I need to remember to do. Uh, and if I really do need to remember to like make a call or send an email, I put it in my phone calendar so that I get notification. But this is just nice at the start of every month to have your month like have a visual of it. And then once a week or every couple of days even, I'll just check in and add things, remove things, change it around. I just like that. The third one is my purse notebook. I actually showed this notebook when I was doing my what's in my bag video because this is my purse notebook so it obviously stays in my purse um this one again is just writing it's just like words i've had this one since june now i use it quite a bit just because sometimes when i want to journal i'm on the go i don't want something that takes up that much space in my bag and also sometimes when i'm in the train or i'm coming back from class or something as I'm getting home, I start thinking about like things I have to do when I get home and I start to get overwhelmed because I'm like, okay, I have to do this, I have to do this, and I have to get that done, I have to wash my hair, I have to pack my bag, I have to iron my clothes. And I start to get overwhelmed. So it's nice to be able to just like write it down, put it out of my mind because I'm not gonna lose track of any tasks because they're in here, but I don't really use this as a to-do list. It really is a journal. I was going to this birthday party with some people who are not the best people. Um, and I was really nervous about it and I was scared and journaling about it on the way made me feel better because I was like I'm scared but it's not the end of the world and I can always leave if I want to and then on the way back also to journal how it went and just kind of get my my tension out of my body onto the page to be like it was fine I survived I'm on my way home now I'm fine so I just like that part of it and just being able to journal on the go the next few things that i want to talk about that i love doing are actually online i'm gonna i'm gonna breeze through these a little bit because these are just like things i do to stay off social media number one sims 4 i've been playing the sims 4 since i lived in india which is almost five years ago now um i love it i got my best friend into it as well so it's just fun um i used to play it a lot more than i do now just make a beautiful house and just zone out for a few hours so the sims the next one is actually genshin impact and this is something i i really only got into like in the last six months but i'm not super into it like i'm not like a hardcore player but the game has some stunning landscapes and a beautiful world that you can walk swim fly jump run and explore and so i love just walking around honestly and just having that really calming music with my headphones in just walking around this perfect world and once in a while battling monsters i'm also doing duolingo i'm learning spanish i don't actually know why i chose spanish because i'm not planning on going to spain anytime soon but it's just fun to like have an extra skill and spanish is honestly going really well so far and so i do duolingo every day i have a streak of 85 days now so yeah duolingo and the last one is kind of silly but I still do the Wordle and the connections every single day. Every single day, I just think it's fun. And it's also one of those things that like my brain doesn't really work unless I'm like not doing anything else. I have a bad habit of like, while I'll be playing Sims, I'll be also watching a YouTube video. Or if I'm playing Genshin, I'll also be listening to music. So it's nice to not have two forms of stimulation because I really need to just focus. So yeah, I don't think, I think I've covered everything. That was a lot of things. That was this whole stack of, books <laughs> this is my personality this is my creativity this is my frustrations my sadness my anger my joy this is me in a stack and uh i'm so like proud of myself for keeping up with such things because a lot of my peers don't journal and they don't read books and i mean to each their own but i couldn't live like that so i love having all these things that are just mine i really hope to carry on with this stuff and i hope i keep being consistent obviously it'll be harder when i have a real job and i'm not just in uni but i really hope i can find time for these things because i really do love them and the online things as well hopefully just give you some options to spend your time on the internet uh, in places other than tiktok because it's just it's really rotting my brain it really is so yeah hope you enjoyed that future the hope you picked up some better habits and uh kept up these ones and yeah that's it that's all i wanted to talk about